4J Studios are best known as the developers who brought Minecraft to consoles, and these seven editions of the game were absolutely loved by the community because of their unique implementation of many Java features, but also the mini games which allowed you to play multiplayer without any servers required whatsoever. Unfortunately, the release of Bedrock meant that couldn't last forever, and so since then, 4J had been working on a new game, and that is something we just got our first trailer off. I'm excited, let's play it right now. Guys! It's here! Holy gosh! Let's quickly pause the video here for a second, just because of all the cool Minecraft references I want to point out as we go, uh, because in the background you can see all the games 4J have worked on as a studio, they've done a lot of different porting things, but one of those is of course Minecraft Xbox 360, uh, the classic Steve with a pickaxe and a wolf, uh, then next to it is Minecraft on the PlayStation editions, and then next to that, you know, these two games they've worked on as a studio, they put the three mini games they've worked on as a studio, the Battle mini game, the Tumble mini game, and then over there you can definitely tell that it's Glide mini game, uh, that tells us that they consider these these mini games to kind of be full games within the game uh, that they actually released as a studio, something which is very interesting and might tie into things coming elsewhere in this trailer. Out of the way! Whoa! Fusa! What? Get in the way! Okay, so let's quickly pause the shot here and then rewind a little bit because there is a painting falling off the wall. And if you actually look carefully what that is, it's a Minecraft painting of the, it's actually the two, I believe, two of the founders of 4J Studios, uh, Van der Kyle and Paddy Burns. It's their Minecraft skins falling off the wall. And in fact, the two remaining paintings on the wall, uh, one of them involves a wheel and one of them's got like a little bolt on it, which is incredibly interesting. But the Minecraft skins are falling out of shot. Of course, this is a reference to the Minecraft XBLA trailer. Uh, the exact same shot happens in that one. But we'll mention that in a second because obviously they all go to grab the controller. We can kind of play this one with no audio right here. You can see, wow, they're all grabbing the controller and oh, they're all fighting over it. And doesn't this scene here remind you of something? Obviously, if you haven't been playing Minecraft for 10 years, it probably doesn't. But when they launched Minecraft on the Xbox 360, they called it Minecraft XBLA and they released it with this trailer. Guys! Oh! It's here! Holy gosh! Wow! Oh, who's that? Hey. Keep on playing! Get on the way! Watch out! Oh, get in the game! Oh, I'm running really fast now! Whoa! Whoa, it's basically the same thing that happened. From the painting falling off the wall to this guy grabbing the controller at the last minute out of nowhere, and then it shows Minecraft. First of all, look how old this version of Minecraft is. You can tell, you know, this trailer, you can tell it's 11 years old. It's from 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Man, am I that old? Uh, but the other thing about this is look how old the Create New World screen is. But this trailer was a huge moment for 4J Studios because it was when most people heard about the thing they'd been working on uh, over 10 years ago now, and which they've been working on for most of the time since then. So for them to recreate it for this new game is in itself a Minecraft reference. However, if you're excited to see the equivalent of that Minecraft title screen, instead of that, we get this, which uh, is a 4J Studio static screen. Uh, but don't worry, after a little bit more of playing around the controller and more references that shot, we see the exact same thing. Why is there just a static screen saying 4J Studios? Did someone mess up the trailer here? No, actually. Something that 4J Studios like to do as a studio, because they were very good at like kind of promoting their updates and stuff like that, is whenever they had something huge to announce soon, they would change their banner to this fuzzy banner. And funnily enough, they actually changed the banner back to that yesterday. So something huge is coming soon. Some big announcement is coming soon. And the way that they're you know making a reference to this even more is by making their trailer not even show footage off it, but show this 4J thing instead. And it's funny to me because they do all of the classic things from this XBLA trailer. So here it is in the Xbox trailer, everyone's swaying to the side for a minecart. And now here it is in the 4J trailer, but there's no such minecart they're swaying to the side for. So uh, this is incredibly interesting by itself. I mean, we can also tell another interesting detail here. So after a lot more of these fun references to the original trailer, including everyone being sad at the static screen, uh, there is this moment where everyone cheers together and we get one last reference to the original trailer where Notch is uh, saying, that's my game. And instead we have this shot. Yep. That's my game. So this is Chris van der Kyle, who is the chairman at 4J Studios, one of the big people who does a lot of public events for the game. And so uh, he's saying that's his game, which to me rules out one of the three possibilities we assume Minecraft was working on. They could have been working on some form of mini game or mashup pack or something for Minecraft as a DLC. They could have been working on something which was, uh, you know, like a brand new game, not Minecraft related, but Minecraft uh, kind of adjacent in terms of the features are in it. And then they could have been working on something entirely unrelated to all of that. But I think him saying that 
that's my game implies that it's not Minecraft because obviously Minecraft console edition is his game but I don't uh, you know they're not developing that anymore uh, sadly that has been taken over by Bedrock and so it Im to me implies this is their brand new fresh game they're releasing uh, and that is something that is uh, very much followed because they say get ready for a 4J Studios original coming your way soon they are making a brand new game on a brand new IP it's not like Minecraft Legends it is a brand new fully featured game more like Hytale I guess to compare it to something and it's coming soon which is obviously another 4J reference uh, but here's the greatest thing about this you might not have spotted so a while ago uh, obviously 4J uh, you know kind of uh, we, we, you know in response to people they said that they were making a brand new game and it feels like a follow-up from where they left off with the mini games so the challenge is on and they they, they said they've had some practice with it so they've been working on it for a while uh, and that is interesting enough by itself right like okay their game is gonna follow on from mini games but if you do recall the last mini game that they were working on was build battle in fact at the very last minecon they did in 2016 rip minecon uh, they actually did uh, uh, have a little bit of a fun reference when people asked about build battle so that was all fun everyone knows we love building we love building time but wouldn't it be really cool if you added some sort of like building mini game into the console versions mm. A building time in the console version. Now that is a good idea. And so we know they're following on from their previous mini games. We know the last mini game they were working on was some form of build battle. But here's something that kind of proves that even more. You know, uh, you you might have noticed during the trailer that they weren't all holding controllers. In fact, the controller they are holding looks like a weird amalgamation of all of the controllers, which to me might imply this is a multi-platform release. But I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but what I do know is that everyone else is holding weird items. On the far left, this guy has a drill in his hand. Uh, you can see uh, Chris Van der Kahl I mentioned earlier. He has a spanner in his hand. Uh, the woman in the back with the sunglasses has WD-40 and then there's some other can in the hands of uh, I, I believe his name is David one of the lead artists on the game uh, but we have uh, you know like everyone is holding these weird supplies what do they all have in common these like weird household objects that you might use to build something would you not a drill a spanner uh, is it a wrench or a spanner you one of those things uh, as well as some WD-40 that's what you would need if you were going to build right you would have a lot of emotions <laughs> Good and bad if you are going to build. I think that 4J are announcing a brand new game, which is going to be a series of mini games, maybe with some relation to what they've done in Minecraft. Maybe it's just going to be a collection of mini games in its own right, but they're going to be releasing it soon, whatever it is. And allow me to roll down my green screen to show you that here's the thing. Man, it is messy back there. I have a I have a plant there. Oh, that's real. That's a real plant. That needs to be actually watered. Ugh. I hope that's enough water. I can't tell you how many weeks it's been since I bought that thing. I genuinely forgot it existed. Uh, like some people might have done uh, with the whole console editions of Minecraft. Whenever I make a video about console edition, there are people being like, oh, I forgot about this game from my childhood. Or I forgot about this game from a while ago. But 4J Studios are in that very same space. And here's something that I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you about, but I'll do it anyway because I'm, I, I don't know that it hasn't come up. Uh, so here's the thing. 4J Studios are announcing this game really soon, and we know that not just from this trailer, but actually from the fact that they invited a fair few YouTubers to go up to their office, and that is coming really soon. The date for that, uh, I, I think it's like as soon as next week even, uh, is when we're going to be learning more about this game. Assuming it's not all under embargo, I'll be sharing whatever I can. I'm going to bring a capture card with me maybe even. Uh, I figure it'd be a really fun thing to see what we can learn about this game, and I'll be sharing anything and everything that I can with you on this channel. I am incredibly curious and passionate about this. Minecraft Console Edition was the game of Minecraft I probably have the most hours in. I have thousands upon thousands of hours playing Minecraft on the console with one of these controllers, and so it is a fun idea to be able to see what the developers are up to. This is something I am incredibly excited about, but it's something I, I can't really say more about what's happening until I know more, um, but I know it involves the mini game. I know uh, there's going to be an opportunity to play it, and I hope I can share something about that with the rest of you. Anyway, I'm going to probably clean up this office. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's very hot in the UK. You can tell from the blinding light that just exists over there. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll roll up the green screen and we'll we'll put some gameplay back over there. Uh, because this is why I have a green screen, because I can't, 
I, don't, I can't put one of those cool backgrounds up and make things look impressive, but what I can do is tell you that I am incredibly excited, I am looking forward to this, and I think uh, there is a real chance that there is, you know, like, I, I'm one of the people that's been cynical the whole time. Like, is 4J really working on something related to their Minecraft projects? I assumed that there was a good chance it would just be a brand new game in a genre that none of us knew about, and uh, it looks as though that is not true. It looks as though they are seriously trying to cater uh, to that console edition audience they built the, uh, and I, I think that's a smart move, and I'm excited to see how that does go, and I'll let you know more about it. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, because I'll see you today, later actually, because I'm going to be live streaming my attempt to get all of the trims in Minecraft in two hours or less. This seemed impossible when I started it, but I'm getting slightly better, and I think it might just be possible today, as long as I don't get slayed by the warden. But that's gonna be one of those fun challenges again. Speaking of fun challenges, it is very hot. I've been <laughs> I had to turn off the AC when I record and so I'm slowly melting to death here, but thank you for watching. I am so excited about this. Uh, I really, I, you know, I, I'm one of those people who like tries not to get your hopes up. Like expect the, uh, expect the worst, you know, hope for the best, but expect the worst. Uh, but this seems to be not that far off our best expectations. They're making what we all wanted from them a while ago and I really can't believe it's happening. And I'll let you know when I know next week, assuming I was allowed to say that. And if I wasn't, then oops. In which case, this isn't me, this is IBX Toy Duck. Send all the legal documents to him. It's him that said the thing he wasn't meant to. Not, not me. We're, me? I'm, this, this is, this is the person you want to come after, 4J. Okay, see you next time.